Hello my loves, welcome back to Manifesting Secrets. My name is Krisha Love. I am a manifestation coach here to help you get rid of your limiting beliefs so that you can have the life that you deserve. If you are new, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and ring the bell notification so that you will be alerted when I upload more videos like these. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. You can go ahead and email me at lovelysecret90 at gmail.com. All right, so let's get into this video. What goes on behind the scenes when you are manifesting a specific person? What are they thinking? What are they doing? Okay, so you got all your affirmations in place. You're saying your affirmations daily. You're saying on top of your mental diet, okay? And your what's happening with your specific person is they are going to start to think about you in the way that you are affirming okay so remember when you were affirming the negative shit you see how they showed up they were just showing you giving you validation of the negative shit okay not calling you ghosting you uh being a cheater being a dog whatever so now that you are affirming that they are in love with you, they are contacting you, they're spending more time with you, they're loving, they're affectionate, you know, all that good stuff. Now, what's going to be happening behind the scenes is they are going to start thinking about you more. They're going to be so curious about you. They're going to be like, oh, I wonder what she doing. I wonder what he's doing. And then if you are affirming that you want them to contact you more, then they're either going to call you or send you a text message or a dm or whatever some type of way they're going to contact you then if they were in a relationship with somebody else some type of way a bridge of incidents is going to occur where they split up with that other person and they are going to be with you okay because now you are affirming that you guys are in a happy loving relationship so they have got to be in that happy, loving relationship. As long as you are getting rid of the negative thoughts, winning that match with the negative thoughts. See, that is the one of the, the biggest things that we must do when we're trying to manifest a specific person is you must win the fucking match with your negative thoughts, okay? Because your negative thoughts is like you in the ring with your negative fucking thoughts and your negative thoughts will try to keep you down it will keep you sad keep you feeling like you ain't shit so you need to win that fucking match whoop the motherfucking negative thoughts ass and replace it with positive thoughts so that you can win the match once you do that you're going to get your specific person all right so your negative thoughts is what's keeping you from manifesting your specific person okay period simple it's not them it's not your specific person that's keeping you from them or manifesting them no it is only the battle between you and your negative thoughts all right so if you could as soon as a negative thought come you don't even entertain it you don't water it you don't do shit but ignore it and replace it with a positive thought and the best way like i tell you guys all the time the best way to win the match with your negative fucking thoughts is to nip it before it even complete so if you have a negative thought saying oh they don't want at eh, no 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 everything is good so if you can't think of an affirmation at the at the moment you just say no 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 everything is good and that works just fine I find it works amazing for me like and I want you guys to use that too um, when you can't think of something right away Cause sometimes when you in that in that in that ring with your negative thoughts and you trying to win this fight, okay, and they blowing punches at you left and right, and you emotional because you want your specific person and, and, and these negative thoughts telling you why you can't have them, they don't want you, you ain't good enough, blah blah blah. You need to be throwing them blows like ah, ah, nope, nope, nope. Every fucking thing is good. Everything is good. They don't want nope, everything is good. They want me, everything is good. All right, so that's what you use. When you just need something really, really quick, you just go there. Everything is good. Everything is good. Nope, nope. Everything is good. And when you can say your affirmations, if you can think of that, go ahead and say that too. But just cut it right in the middle, right before it even gets to the end. 
Nah, I don't think, nope, 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 nope. They want me. They always do. They don't have a fucking choice. They don't have a choice. Nobody have a choice in my reality. I'm a boss, period. Okay? So therefore, it's going to happen my way. That's it. So, <clears throat> like I said, so they'll end up contacting you. They'll end up wanting to meet up with you. If you are affirming that they are thinking about you all day, every day, they are going to be thinking about you all day, every day. But you need to plant that seed and let it grow. See, a lot of you guys, you plant the seed today. And in about an hour, you looking at your watch and you looking at your phone like, what the fuck? Like, why they didn't text me yet? Where the hell they at? See, no, it does not work like that. You have to plant the seed and you need to let it grow. It's going to grow if you just give it time, okay? And they're going to start contacting you. They're going to start showing up the way that you are a fucking affirming. You guys, this is not rocket science right here. This is just easy, simple shit. Affirm what you want. Win the match with your negative thoughts by staying up on your mental diet and you are going to get your specific person. Stop over obsessing about the shit. When you are over obsessing about the outcome, it can set you back. You cannot be grabbing something. When you're squeezing the life out of trying to get your specific person back into your life and you just obsessing about it and that's all you're thinking about all day, when you squeeze something so tight, guess what happens? It dies. You squeeze the life out of something. So loosen up a little bit, relax, you know what I'm saying? Sit back, relax, sit on your throne as king and queen, say your affirmations and know that this shit is going to work, okay? When you are manifesting a specific person, you need to think of it and believe in your power as if if you jump off a fucking building today, you know your ass is going down. You know that for a fact, all right? You know if you jump off a building today, your ass is going down. So when you are manifesting a specific person, you know when you are manifesting your specific person, you're on top of your mental diet and you are winning the match with your negative thoughts. You know they ass is coming. They're coming. They have to conform, okay? That's how you need to be manifesting, okay? Because the law of gravity, the law of assumption, it all works, all right? It cannot lie to you. So... When I tell you guys to trust the process, you need to believe in the unseen, okay? As far as when the wind is blowing, you can't really see the wind. I mean, unless it's blowing through trees or whatever. But wind is invisible, but it's still there, okay? Like when you're listening to music, you cannot see the music, but you can hear the music, okay? So there are a lot of things that is unseen that is working for us in this world. This world is very magical, okay? So you have to trust the process as if, like I said, you jump off a fucking building, your ass is going down. If you are affirming whatever you want to happen, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Let the old shit fizzle out, the other shit, and now you are replacing it with the positive thinking. All that old stuff is going to go away, it's going to fade away, and you are going to get your specific person. Okay, that's just how it works. All right, you guys. So eventually, like I said, what goes on behind the scenes, they're going to start coming towards you. They're going to be contacting you. They're going to spend time with you. Whatever you are affirming, that's what they're going to start doing. First, they're going to start thinking it. Then they're going to start acting on it. They're going to start calling you, contacting you, want to take you out, spending time with you, whatever that you want. That's what they're going to do. All right. And once you st start to... Man, start manifesting you see results then you're gonna want to you know add some more stuff to it maybe you want to get married or maybe you want to move in together whatever whatever you want this is your story this is your movie this is your picture so pink something beautiful you guys stop beating yourself up stop telling yourself all this stuff that's not true about yourself you are good enough it doesn't matter what you look like nothing it doesn't matter about anything about you Whatever you think that that person want from you, that's what they're going to want from you, okay? All right, you guys, that's it for this video. I love you guys as always, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.